Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to post a job on LinkedIn. So here we are on LinkedIn. Make sure that you are logged into your account. And then once you are logged into your account, whether it be business, personal, premium, free, it doesn't matter. You're going to see something uh, in the upper menu here that says jobs. Go ahead and click on the little briefcase there that says jobs. And then you're going to see a blue link over here on the left hand side somewhere. And then you go to where you see post a free job. Go ahead and go to post a free job. It then will ask you to log in once more. And then once you are logged in, it will then say, you know, fill out this information. So we have job title, your company name, the workplace type, which would be on site hybrid or remote. And these are pretty self-explanatory. Will they have to drive to an on-site office? Will it be hybrid? Some days go in office, some days remote, or can they work remotely all of the time? All of this here, you can select which one is applicable to your job. And the next one is employee location. Uh, you can put a country or a state here. Again, all of this will relate back to if it's a remote work working job or an in office job. So for here, uh, you know, I could put say United States if it's remote, or if I wanted to, uh, I could go to you know my state and then put Georgia, United States. And then is it a full time job, part time, contract, temp, volunteer, or an internship? Again, select the one that is applicable to your job. I'll say this is a part time job. And once you filled everything out, go ahead and click the blue get started for free button here. And then we'll go through, it's kind of like eBay. You're putting a listing or a job listing up. So then you're now going to have to type in a description for that job. And then once you've typed in your description, make it look really nice. Again, the more professional this looks, the more candidates you're going to have. So if you just put like a one liner here, uh, I don't think you're going to get that many good uh, you know, choices to choose from. Uh, once you've done the description, go ahead and go to add skills. So you just go ahead and click the green button there. It'll put your cursor. And then if a skill is required, you just go here and you search for that skill. A lot of them will come up. Uh, again, all of these things go down here and kind of see what, what that might be. And then the next one is how did you hear about us? This is fantastic for you, the employer to know how did they find this job posting? Was it shared via a TV advertisement, a podcast that you're advertising on? Again, all of this information is pertinent to have going forward. Put your description, add some skills, and then type in or select how did you hear about us. All right, and then step two of two here is applicant options. So basically receive applicants by email or external website. So if you have an external website, you can select that there. Uh, and then basically you just put in your website address for your company uh, website. Uh, I'm going to select email just for simplicity's sake and then add screening questions. These are going to be questions that you are wanting to ask the uh, prospective employee to answer. So how many years of work experience do you have using tool or technology recommended? Again, is this a must have qualification? Uh, ideal answer would be one, two. You can select how many of you want them to do. Uh, so whatever you selected as skills. Uh, or tools that will be required for this job, uh, put those here. So is it, uh, you know, are you, do you need a chef for your restaurant? You know, put whatever that tool or uh, trait may be there. So for me, I put graphic design and Adobe Photoshop. Uh, how many years experience using these two tools do they have? Also, you can add a plethora of screening questions. So background check, certifications, driver's license, GPA, uh, and then you can even add a custom question. So if you want to add one of their template questions, you just select the addition symbol here. It says, have you completed the following level of education? Uh, bachelor, bachelor's degree, must have qualification. If it's a must have, you just need to check that box and that will eliminate a bunch of folks as well. And then if you want to do a custom question, just go ahead and click on the custom question option. And then you type in your question here and then you basically select the response type. Is it a yes, no? Is it a numeric answer? Also, the last thing here, it says qualification setting. Filter out and send rejections to applicants who don't meet any must-have qualifications. So if you want to kind of disregard the folks who are applying, even though you've said, hey, this is a must-have for one of these tools or traits or education or experience, LinkedIn will automatically discard those and you will not get notified about them and you will not get inundated with folks that you, know, you don't want to waste your time, even though they know that they're not going to be qualified for this job. And then once you've done that, you can preview this by clicking the preview button here. It'll give your, uh, your again, your channel or your company logo here, uh, the job name, your uh, company name, where it's located, tells you what it looks like, make sure everything looks good, and then click the blue post job for free button there. 
and you, my friend, are good to go. If you have any questions about how to do this, please put those in the comments section down below. If not, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe with folks who are looking to post a job on LinkedIn, and I will see you guys in the next video.